Uh, I am getting some breaking news right here. and I'll share it with everybody. I was just handed this. NBC News has now confirmed that President Trump has called Roger Stone and told him that he will commute his sentence. Now, Roger Stone had been scheduled to begin uh, serving a prison term next week. He had been seeking to have that delayed until September, but it had been scheduled to begin next week. Uh, Stone had been convicted a little over a year ago, almost a year and a half ago, I should say, on seven counts of obstruction, witness tampering and making false statements to Congress. But again, NBC News now reporting that the president has called Roger Stone and has told him that he will commute that sentence. I believe we have Betsy, Betsy Woodruff Swan with us right now, who has been following and covering this uh, extensively. Betsy, uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, again, the news here, I, I want to be clear, commutation as opposed to pardon. There's been a lot of talk that this might be a presidential pardon. This will be a commutation, apparently. What's the difference between those two? That's right. A pardon totally wipes the slate clean and it removes a guilty verdict. It would basically make it so that Roger Stone had never been convicted in the first place. A commutation, meanwhile, either removes or lessens the punishment someone would face for being convicted, but it leaves that guilty conviction still on the person's record. In this case, Trump is going to be commuting Roger Stone's sentence. Now, it's possible in the future that he could also pardon him, removing that guilty conviction from his record as well. Trump has pardoned multiple people who have already served either time in prison or have, have paid uh, fines because of crimes they've committed. The pardon is still something that's on the table. What Trump is what Trump is doing now is basically making it so that Roger Stone will not be spending time in prison. This is something the president had alluded to before he tweeted suggesting that Roger would not end up spending any time incarcerated. And it's something that many of Roger's close allies have been lobbying the White House about furiously ever since ever since Roger Stone, of course, first found himself in the crosshairs of the Justice Department because he was convicted of lying to House inve congressional investigators who were scrutinizing uh, his connection to Russia's interference with the 2016 election. Stone was not convicted for anything that happened during the 2016 campaign cycle, and there haven't been any allegations from the Justice Department that he participated in any coordination with the Russians. Rather, what he was convicted of was lying to the investigators who were trying to get to the bottom of the story, as well as tampering with someone who those investigators wanted to use as a witness for their own congressional Russia probe. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.